sleeps on. So we'll put that to the side. You take this and you just kind of spread it and then block, block the sides. And then you push down the middle. And this goes inside. And that's just the normal uh, pack and play setup sleep situation. Now for the baby to raise it up, take this out. Use this. So there are two poles on the back side and you connect them like that. Connect them and the holes go on top. Uh, and these clip onto the side. Kind of, it's like a little uh, cup. You just push it down over the side. Like that. So, I'll show you. So, you can see it's like that now. The poles are up. And these are all just classed over and they just, to take them off, you just pull it up or push it down. And so they're all along the edges and they're all in place. And now you have these two bars here. So that allows you to put the mat up so it's a lot higher so you can lay the baby there and you don't have to go all the way down deep into the the pack and play um and then let me uh, excuse my messy room here um so then you can put this little mobile that just clap, clips on to the the side if you want with some just to you know give the baby something to look at they won't be able to see it for the first few weeks but eventually they get their eyesight good uh, improves and then the other part of this that's interesting let's see if I can leave this one is Now this is the, it's a baby chair slash changing. So one side is like a little chair and the other side has like a plastic lined area for changing. And so it has these clips and they go into here. So you just snap it in and then you. snap it in like that and so the baby can sleep there I mean technically they're not supposed to sleep in that but when they're really tiny I left the baby in there right next to me because um, the newborns you know they don't move very much um, and but when they're awake you could just have them sit there and as long as they can't sit up on their own it's safe for them to lay in that um, and as long as you're there um, and then it has this little button and so you're supposed to push and lift okay so I'm not gonna lie this part is always difficult um, but you push button you can see here and then it like 
twist. Anyways, I can never really do it, but there is <laughs> a way. Push hand, push button and lift. Okay, so you lift this part and then it locks. Okay, so that makes sense. Um, and so you can change the baby on here and then this is like plastic so you just wipe it clean so if there's any pee or anything it's easy to clean um i mean we didn't use that that much um but you know depends on the person and then you just i guess push the button back let's see if i can do it push the button again you do you on this part you push push this button and lift this up and then it, it spins so okay and then you lock it down push down to lock it down um and so this part is hard to get out uh because you had to clip those fastener things in there um i've always had a really hard time getting it out uh, this little seat and so I would just pop this part off Let's see if I can do it with one hand So I just pop this whole thing off from the netting And then you can get to the little fastener that you gotta push it in And then pull it up Can't do it with one hand yeah, so you push that in and then pull it out of the net part. And then same thing on this side. You're supposed to be able to get to that button through the netting, but I've never been able to do that. So I just pop off the net and then I can uh, see that part when I when you push it and then you pull the seat up. And that comes out. And then just make sure you reattach these to the side. Um, reattach that. And so yeah, so there you go. And then the disassembly is pretty easy. You just take off this netted thing. Let's see if I can show you. Angle. in a bag or something. A little bag here. Put that in there. And then you pull this up. There's buttons on each side. that's helpful.